Hi, I'm Matt Sullivan, and I recently gave a webinar for Adobe on their technical communication suite. We talked about the reasons you would want to choose the TCS Azure TechCom toolkit, and one of the areas of interest was about the customization of the HTML5 output, specifically the responsive layouts available in FrameMaker 12. So I wanted to show you a quick demo of how that works. Now over in FrameMaker, what I've done is I've opened up one of the samples available in the FrameMaker 12 install, uh, just in the default installation. And then I've gone into the file menu and I've chosen the publish pod, which brings up these five layouts that I can use. And the responsive layout by default has a given look to it, but you can see that I've gone into, I've, I've, uh, whether or not this is chosen, I actually can click on the settings here. I can edit these settings. And here's what I did to kind of tweak it out a little bit. I added a favicon. Now the favicon or favicon is going to be that thing in a browser that shows up right next to your address inside of the URL. I've also chosen the, the basic generic theme one standard. And if I hit edit, you'll see this is kind of the look. This is the look and feel of the default. But what I've done specifically in the header component is I've gone into the background and I've changed to a different color. I've gone and put in a different logo. So instead of this little diamond that shows up by default, I've given it the TC Tools logo, Techcom Tools logo right there. And then I've also chosen a, uh, a different color, a light gray font instead of the font that we've got right here. So it was as easy as that to go in and modify this component and you can go through and modify each and every component. I think in a couple of places I added you know, that, that base color that I'd used previously. Once you close that, you also have the option directly in the same dialog box, it's pretty convenient, to go into the style mapping and to choose various styles. In particular, I choose the body. So the body begin and the body content styles are mapped to this body level one instead of most of the others where cell body might still be uh, trying to pick up font information and formatting from FrameMaker and it's set to source. So cell body, I've actually got a cell body right here. So you would go into each one of these formats and you would choose an equivalent formatting style inside the CSS. And that is how you would control your output to the HTML5. When I hit save and close, and then I go in and I modify the responsive HTML5 layout, I've already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit preview. It looks a bit like this. So you can see that I've got the color that's now matching more of the, uh, the heading that I had within the doc. So these colors match up a little bit better. I've got my logo, I've got my modified header up here, so it just doesn't say responsive HTML5 layout. I've got my table of contents because I did, uh, I did choose everything inside of FrameMaker, so it created that uh, entire bit of content there. And then, best part about the whole thing, when I change the size of my layout, and I go from a browser size layout to something that would uh, fit on a smartphone, you can see that the navigation's moved down here where it would be convenient for me to use it with my uh, thumb while I hold my phone. If I get to a larger size, something is perhaps the size of a tablet, well, you can see that the, the navigation is moved over to the side here where I might use it with my thumb. And then again, when I get to the browser size, you know, if I, if I expect to be using this on a computer, well, I want to be able to use all of this stuff as if it was a regular web page. So I hope that helps. Hope you can get your stuff customized. If you need any help, please reach out to me. My social media ID is Matt R. Sullivan, and I'd be happy to give you a hint. Thanks.